How's it going guys? My name is Sarai Chesniki and welcome to another rank 1 Heroes of the Storm game. Oh, I love the starting music of this map. The bell. <laughs> Very awesome. Alright, um, we're fourth pick. I'm going to highlight the hammer for this map. I love the hammer on this map and I hope they don't really have much engaged so I can actually play the hammer because Playing a hammer when their team has engages is pretty hard and annoying and could potentially lose you the game if you're not careful. So yeah, let's see bans here. I am expecting bans on Liming and Illidan, so the most usual bans nowadays uh, for the start at least. And yeah, let's wait. Rager first ban. Alright, they have the first pick, so that's a pretty nice uh, ban from them. Now we need to decide which is more important, Lemming or Illidan. Mm. Illidan, I guess. Oh, they're going to get Lemming. Hmm. Lemming. Okay. Hmm... Fausted is a pretty good choice. I would definitely pick Fausted. Right, Greyman with the Horde symbol. Interesting. Alright, I actually might not go might not go zero to... I think I'll still, still stay on the hammer. That's there is a pretty nice support there. Oh, they got Lyric? Hmm. Uh, they don't have that much engage, but I don't really think Hammer is going to be particularly good here. I'm going to highlight Nova for now. Actually, Nazebo maybe. Why would they pick... Why would they ban a... Twin tank? I don't think a uh, twin tank is going to be picked. It's pretty rare nowadays. It's pretty good on this map though, but it's pretty unlikely to be honest. Sonya band. Oh. I think going to specialist is okay. Let me just go through all my picks here again. Yeah, the last pick would pick support. I'm going Nazebo. The Damn. They have a pretty Let's solid fight. team there, I'll be honest. Uh, Sonya is banned, so he can't really pick Sonya. And we need support, so. What good support could be good here? Rhaegar is banned. Morales isn't the best choice though, they don't have much engage. Okay, our team seems pretty solid as well. Let's see what we can do. The Zeeb also has some new icons which are pretty good. I'm going to go Wood Retro and... Alright, let's see what we can do here. One. Uh, Medivac could uh, potentially not only save Morales for her to hide inside, but also some other teammates. And considering we only have like Greyman for the Steam Drone, Medivac could be a pretty nice choice of a talent. Though most people don't prefer the Medivac, it's a very situational ulti. 
But if Kyoto's picks up our boss, I think it's just going to be just fine. Um, I think I'll go to the top there though. But maybe our team is going to fight a bit here. And uh, let me just go to the top there for now. I'm going to be facing Limink. I think it's going to be a pretty even match. I have some more sustain with my passive here. So that's going to be a very nice plus for me. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to poker with some spiders, I guess. And some auto attacks poison. In general. But she's uh, playing pretty careful there, so... I'm mostly worried about ganks, to be honest. Didn't manage to walk her there. Oh, the frogs... It would have been pretty nice if uh, frogs can jump over walls, like... It is... A bit logical for the frogs to be able to do that, like... It's not out of logic, like... I know they don't have that much in the game, but come on. <laughs> I don't want... It really bugs me that uh, they're rotating uh, between the walls there. It's a bit annoying. And I'm just going to push this lane to the maximum before joining my team. Uh, if Liming stays, I could overstay as well. Alright, cheese on. We're getting closer to level 4, so that's always nice. I'm just going to push this lane just a bit for a level 4. Awesome. I'm going to get the spider cluster for this game. It's the safer choice. And since my team isn't very good at the moment, like we're not bad as well, but I feel like we're a bit low on HP in general. Alright, let's see what we can do here. A lot of damage is going on Morales. Let me throw some spells there. I'm going to be able to catch Kyotas, but no, no really fall damage there, limping from the side. Hmm, this is very chaotic at the moment. I'm trying my best to finish all the... Oh, that was a big hit there. Finish two more, one more. Awesome stuff. I'm getting a bit low here though. But Kyotas is a bit out of position as well. One Swole is going to do the trick there. Uh, no, no. Alright, well. Let's zombie wall there. If we kill the two towers, we're going to do just fine here. I think. We could really get some uh, help versus Fausta. Top Grayman is going there. Alright, yeah, we did a pretty decent push there, not too shabby. Let's kill this Wano on killing the totem there. If we finish this fort, we're going to be just fine. Awesome stuff, I'm going to back it out now. A bit low there, but yeah. I'm actually going to go right to base there. How is Asmodan doing? Mm. Up to a maximum of 500. Yeah. This should ha yeah, this should has no m uh, limit, so Asmodan can really be a really be a big of a threat there later in the game. Like he ac actually is, even with uh, this damage. The dunks are pretty hard, but yeah. And let's go Gitbin. I'm going for the spider build, so. The main reason I'm going the spider build is actually that uh, when the spider start chasing, like leaping, they're so annoying versus someone like a Liming, because she's getting constant pressure. And yeah, all right, tower down there, very nice. I'm just going to stay around here. Let me try to get some. H back with wood retro. Oops. Can't really damage uh, one versus two here with all those heals. 
I could potentially do some siege damage, but that's about it. Alright, top shrine. I'm doing some pretty decent damage there, but... Oh, we have a repair bot as well. That's pretty neat. I could really use some teammates here. I don't know why they aren't starting the shrine themselves there. Okay. Wow, this sucks. They're taking a lot of the shrine guardians. And our team isn't reacting that good at the moment. Um, I'm just doing hero damage at the moment. Oh, Liming is going extremely well. Maybe I can finish her out with a poison, but Kelta's coming from the side. I'm going to try to sidestep the tornado there. I'm getting a bit too much from the ignition. I'm going to have to damage some minions for heals. Alright, I'm getting... A bit healthier there. This Lyric is going a bit too deep there, I think. So is uh, Keltas. I'm going to stay near the heals here. Or even on the Guardians at the moment. We're getting closer to level 10. That's the best thing for us at the moment, at least. Alright, easy. Seven more. Six, five, we are going to secure that. I'm going to have level 10 as well, so we could have a potentially pretty nice fight here. I'm going to get the Ravenous Spirit, I'm going to close the door here. And she's going to blink out, no need to ulti it. I want to get a stun on Liming at least before I ulti. From the Punisher, maybe. Alright, Zombie Wall, I'm going to ulti here. I'm, uh, the spirit isn't fast enough. Let's go on Lyric then. Greyman is clearing house there with Johanna. We're going to secure this fort and we're doing pretty well. Pretty well indeed. The uh, level advantage gave us a pretty nice aggressive push there. And I think uh, we should push a bit more with the Punisher here. Just to get a tower maybe. Alright, let's back it out. Alright, we're doing pretty well this game. I think I'll go back to base for full mana. Level 13. Mm, Things of the Deep is my favorite talent. I really like the extra range that it provides. It would have been nice if it gave some extra range on the Ravenous Spirit as well. Like, actually we get upgraded to that on the uh, Annihilating Spirit on level 20. But, yeah. I guess it would, be, it would be just a bit too OP if it worked for the heroic abilities as well. Right, we have the middle not pushed only. So, I'm going to try to help for that to happen. Towers are down at least there. Since bottom needs help. I have my ulti up. Medivac, I'm going to board it. People are dying on the bot, however, already. Oh, that made it hack. <laughs> Seems pretty fun there, but I'm going to ulti here. I'm doing some casual damage there, not much to be honest. Let's back it out. It thinks of the deep. It really sucks that our teammates died before we came there, but nothing we can do much about it there. Unfortunately. Okay. I want to get back my mana and shrines. I really need my level 16 for leaping spiders. They're going to prove such a good help there. Grayman is doing the top marks. He's going to be a bit late to the party there, but yeah. Um, I'm going to stop the middle more camp until Greyman comes, I think. Can't really fight without him anyway. Alright, let's join our team now. 
have some cooldown on my Raven and Spirit, but otherwise we were doing pretty decently. Right, Karazim down. They didn't manage to kill a lot of the Guardians there, which is pretty nice. I'm going to manage to drop Fausta there. Mm. Eric is pretty well, but I can't really chase him. Just be a bit annoying towards him. And we did just fine this time again. I don't know why Karazim went that deep. Mm. Karazim sh should stay safe with his team and try to heal them instead of going so deep, in my opinion. Alright, well, we're going to secure that as well. I don't think uh, they have one. I think they might have one on one shrine. But that's about it. Alright. Right, let's go push the bottom then. Uh oh. I actually that didn't manage to hit, so that's pretty nice. Oh, stun there. I'm, not, I'm going to miss that wall. Limit from the side. Level 15, one more level. Johanna is not with us for the moment. I could zone limit pretty easily there. I have my Ravenous Spirit. But I want to save it for now. I'm going to kill this tower. Let's put a zombie wall there. Oh, in tomb. I'm going to back it out a bit. Alright, let's ulti on Liming. She got stunned. Awesome stuff. Let's rotate to Karazim. I'm going to get the Leaping Spiders. Leap Spiders! Leap! Huh? <laughs> ah. Not enough. Oh well. I'll just uh, kill this for then. 3 for 1. Very nice trading. We got the level advantage as well. And yeah, I don't think we can finish here though. I suggest we back it out. Back out. Alright. I think we should push the middle there. Or take the smart camp. But they have too much people here. Mm, I suggest we back out for now. Okay. Now I can just push the middle here. Mm. And two. I'm going to put a zombie one in front then. But I got jumped out by everyone. Alright, the heels are going to save me. Thank god. Uh, letting spirit pretty soon. I'm going to link it up. I'm going to try to uh, capture here. Yes, that was pretty nice. I don't want to ulti that deep though. Oh, Liming dead. Alright, I'm going to ulti now. My spirit is pretty slow though. Let's change to Lyoric. Alright. I just did some casual damage there to scare them off. I really need my level 20 spirit. To be a bit more valuable on the chases there. Uh, but I'm still doing most damage, so that's always nice. Let's get a fountain before the shrine, get some mana. Haven't gotten a fountain from quite a while. I don't think that's a good idea, just take this as fast as possible. Guys. I don't know. Liming was dead. I think that getting the shrine as fast as possible is much better than going for the merc camp there. Um, but their choice. Alright. And two. I'm going to put a zombie wall there. I'm going to block them a bit. Alright. Let's uh, go on faster there. The leaping spiders are going to be enough to finish him out there. I hope. Kelta's gonna die. Oh, Fausta's uh, flew off from the spiders there. To survive. Liming dead again. Well, we're just wrecking them at the moment. I don't know, it just doesn't work for them, I guess. I think that the... I wanna go there. Oh, medivac dropship, alright. We can finish it out later, I guess. Well. 
This is going to be pretty risky because they're actually reviving. We'll capture Lorik there, but... Alright, this is going to be very risky. Greyman isn't here. I'm going to back it out a bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's drive on the spirit here. Oh! And let's say I secured the kill on Katie, but I was really hoping for some heals there. Because I was a bit deep there on the ulti there, but yeah. Suggest my team go to finish the shrine. Yeah, that medivac was a bit too late there. there the timers were pretty low already, so it was a bad choice <laughs> in general. Alright, this was actually my first death. <laughs> uh oh. I'm going to need some help on Asmodan there. Very nice heals. Alright, we're going to finish that. Mm. Oh, nice jump there from the Punisher. I think Yorick is gonna die here to Greymane. Awesome. Now Liming is gonna die. Bam! The Hour of Doom has come. I think this is uh, the one that we're going to win here. We have level 20. Punisher is pretty healthy. They actually managed to kite the Punisher pretty well on the behind there. But with you dead and me coming, I think we're going to have enough to finish out the core. Alright, let's just push for the win here. I'm going to trap this guy. I'm not going to ulti for him though. Yeah, definitely not worth to ulti. Let's just... GG. We're going to be a wreck on the Zebo game, guys. I think our team composition was just a bit better than theirs. That's why that is the main reason we won here. And yeah, uh, Limic didn't work for them this day. <laughs> I think uh, the Morales was a very nice last pick there, in my opinion. And did Kevas actually pick the Power Blast? I didn't see. Talents? Yeah. I actually didn't saw a medivac to counter the uh, pyro boss, but the medivac was a good choice as well, I think. So yeah, this is going to be a rank on the Zebo game, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay righteous. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. If throwing gauge is, I'm in a big trouble there. I'm going to dodge it. Uh. No, I'm going to try to combo with zero tool here. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. 